The Beaches Podcast is going to give you everything you want to know about a beach before you go there. I hope you enjoy the show. Be sure to check out our website, www.sandee.com. Without further ado, let's get into the show. Idaho for beaches. (laughs) Okay, you've got me there. Yeah. That's not usually the first thing that comes to mind, got to (laughs) say. But hey, that's what we do here on the Deep Dive, right? We dig up those unexpected gems. Absolutely. So it sounds like someone's looking for a trip that's a little off the beaten path, a little different. And we've got your back. We've been doing our research. We've got your trip planning basics. Obviously, got to have those. But we've also uncovered some, uh, let's just say potatoes are involved. (laughs) It's going to be good. You know, Idaho's got this reputation, and for good reason, as being this mountainous state. I mean, the Rockies. Stunning. Oh, yeah. But people often don't realize it's also home to this incredible network of lakes and rivers. Really? Oh, yeah. And many of them, here's a fun fact, they were actually carved out by glaciers. We're talking thousands of years ago. Oh. Yeah. And those glaciers, they left behind these incredible waterways. And that's where you get your Idaho beaches. Okay. So to be clear, we're talking beaches on lakes and rivers, not the ocean. Exactly. Just so nobody's picturing, you know, surfing and. Right. No tidal waves. No tidal waves. Exactly. Speaking of which, one of the things you mentioned in your notes was nude beaches. Ah. Doing your research, I see. Got to cover all the bases. And it's a fair question. Here's the thing. Idaho, much like most places, has pretty clear laws when it comes to public nudity. And, yep, those apply to beaches, too. Right. But it's bigger than just the law, isn't it? When you're traveling, it's about respecting the local customs wherever you go. Exactly. Exactly. When in Rome, as they say. Exactly. And, you know, one thing about Idaho, folks, they're incredibly proud of their local businesses. Okay, makes sense. So, yeah, supporting local businesses, that's something you'll see a lot of in Idaho. So keep that in mind. It's all part of experiencing the real Idaho, right? Right. It's all about fitting in, being respectful. Okay, on a more practical note, I know you mentioned best time to travel in your initial research, which... Knowing Idaho could be a bit of a loaded question. You are telling me. You've got to remember, Idaho's weather, it's almost as diverse as the landscape itself. Think about it. You could be, right now, soaking up the sun on Lake Coeur d'Alene. It's a beautiful 70 degrees, let's say. But at the same time, up in the Sawtooth Mountains, you might need a jacket. Even in the middle of summer. Wow, that's a huge difference. It really is. Elevation, my friend, it plays a huge role in Idaho. So my advice, before you book anything, do your homework on your specific destination. Know before you go. Good advice. Good (laughs) advice. You know, you talking about such different climates in one state reminds me of this one trip I took to California. We went from like sunny beaches to snowy mountains in the span of just a few hours. It was wild. Wow. Yeah, really makes you appreciate the power of nature, you know? Absolutely. Okay, so speaking of specific destinations and experiencing the real deal, potatoes. Ah, yes, the potatoes. The listener definitely wasn't joking about those, were they? (laughs) I mean, part of me is tempted to tell you to pack a whole spud as a beach snack. Well, I mean, I admire the enthusiasm, but maybe skip the whole spud. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But here's the thing. You're on to something. Idaho and potatoes, I mean, come on, they're practically synonymous. Yeah. And the agricultural heritage, it's woven into the fabric of the state. Visiting a local farmer's market or even better, having a a farm to table meal, that's about as authentic as it gets in Idaho. Totally. It's about more than just the destination, right? It's about the journey. It's about immersing yourself in the local culture, really getting a feel for the place. And speaking of immersing yourself... Idaho is not just beaches and potatoes. I mean, we've got hiking trails with views that'll knock your socks off. Yeah. And fishing. Don't even get me started. And if you're feeling really adventurous, there's always whitewater rafting. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, picture this. You're kayaking across Lake Pendore, the sun's setting, and those towering pine trees are reflected in the water. I mean, it's magic. Or imagine this. You're stand-up paddle boarding on Redfish Lake, that crystal clear water, the peace and quiet. Honestly, it's different kind of beach experience for sure. It sounds incredible. You know, it's funny. We started this whole thing with Idaho beaches. Right. Which in itself already felt like a bit of a secret, right? Like who knew? Yeah. But honestly, what I'm realizing is the real magic of travel, it often comes from those unexpected discoveries. Absolutely does. So to our listener out there, as you're planning this Idaho beach trip, keep your eyes open. Who knows what other hidden gems you might stumble upon when you least expect it. Couldn't agree more. Thanks for listening to the show and be sure to tune in next week for your favorite episode about some of the best beaches and beach information in the world.